my wife started teaching at Buckland, she uh, got to one of her first classes, and a third grader, which would be eight years old, I think, uh, when asked how old did he think she was, said that uh, she was 40. She was 23. That didn't go over very well. But to an eighth grader, 23 and 40, they look very similar, don't they? It's interesting, uh, I'm in between those two ages, between 23 and 40, and, and I can see there's quite a bit of a difference between 23 and 40. Quite a bit indeed. And yet I wonder if you are a little bit further along, if you're 80, what does the difference look like between 23 and 40 if you're 80? Right? I'm sure that 40 is getting there and 23 is, are they driving? I mean, it's kind of confusing. When did they start driving? So it, it, it doesn't change the facts of it, right? Your point of view doesn't change the facts. The fact is that my wife was 23 when she started preaching. But your point of view, 8-year-old, 80-year-old, changes how you look at a person who is 23. We're going to be looking at the communion table today, the last part of the response to the Word of God. Uh, Jesus beckons us to the table, and we respond by coming to the table. And, and your point, what you see here, changes depending upon your point of view. Now the facts are, this is what the table that we're invited to, where Jesus says, this is my body broken for you. Like that, that's the facts. But what you see here ch changes depending upon the ones you look. For example, if you look at this as a Jewish person, what you would see here is the Passover meal. This is part of the Passover meal. The Passover is this moment when God promises to pass over from the worst that could happen to you and give you strength to the meal for where you're going. And, and so from a Jewish point of view, this is a meal of strength for the journey and promise that God will be with you. Good point of view. Let's look at it from a different point of view. Judas. 
So from the point of view of someone who's struggling, even they are still welcome. Let's see where else I can go. The point of the service where everyone starts to avoid eye contact. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going for him. Oh. You're a man of education. Excellent. Can you find is? <laughs> to me, right? Since being her does an excellent way to answer the question without answering the question. Good job. When Jesus says, this is my body, what does that mean? How, what is the is in this of is? When Jesus says, this is my body, is it the breath? Is it the gathered disciples? Is it the whole worship spirit experience? Where is the is of this is my body? <coughs> I, is it in the spirit? That's what People have been arguing about this for centuries. Because they're confused by it. We're confused by it today. We can talk about it and we'd all disagree. It'd be great. Uh, and the word for what we're going forward to is this. It's what we call it a sacrament. But the word actually comes from uh, sacramentum in Latin, but before that, in the Greek, it comes from a different word. The word is musterion. You want to guess what musterion comes, becomes? Mystery. Right? So we go to this table and it's called a mysterion, it's a mystery. So if you don't know how to define it is, that's okay. Because Jesus says, this is my body, what's the right response? Yes, sir. <laughs> this is my body. No more audience participation the rest of your day. <laughs>
tiring. If that's how we start, where does this go? Every time we gather, and we come to this table. 